Let's make the signal on PowerPoint. So first open up your PowerPoint, get a blank slide like this. Then just go to insert, go to shapes and you will have a shape called chevron which is just over here. This is the chevron shape. Then I'm just going to click on this and just drag it over there. Done. Now what I'm going to do is minimize it a bit I guess and here you can see a yellow dot over here. You can just drag it out to make it thin or wide whatever you wish. Then I'm going to click on this shape outline and press no outline so the outlines will disappear and make this shape not this color hot pink. Done. Then what I'm going to do is click on this and go to animation and I'm going to press fade and start with previous and I'm going to increase the duration by 2. Alright, done. So let's see what happens. This is our animation. Now what I'm going to do is go to animation pen, click on this triangle, go to timing and repeat it until the end of slide. Now it would just keep repeating itself, keep repeating itself like this. Now what I'm going to do is press on this, press ctrl shift and just drag it over there. Press ctrl shift again and drag it outside. Press ctrl shift again and drag it outside. Ctrl shift, drag. Ctrl shift, drag. So you have a lot of arrows. Now I'm going to drag all over those and go to format, go to airline and distribute them horizontally so they're equidistant from each other. Now what I'm going to do is click on this. This is the animation for the second object. What I'm going to do is go to animation and make it 0.5 second delay, 0.25 second delay. Then I'm going to click on the next one. I'm going to make it 0.5 second delay. Click on the third one. I'm going to make it 0.75 second delay. And for the fourth one, I'm going to make it one second delay. You see the point, right? 1.25. And what I'm going to do is, I guess what I'm going to do, just click on this and just minimize them a bit so that I have room for some more because I'm going to make, I'm going to have to delay it for 1.75 seconds. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift and drag it over, over here again and make it 1.5 seconds. Just Ctrl Shift again and drag it over there and make it 1.75 seconds. So we have all of these. I'm going to drag over all of them again. Go to Format, go to Airline and distribute them horizontally. Done. So you can see there is a sequence. Now when I'm going to play this, you'll see the magic. It starts like this and keep repeating itself and that's how you make a signal on PowerPoint. For more of these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel.